In this episode of the Advanced Construction Workshop, we're going to put fin fillets, epoxy ones, onto this rocket kit. I'll be back right after this short announcement. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today we're putting the fillets onto the Sandhawk rocket. In the last episode, we glued the fins in, but now we want to put fin, fin fillets, which is a fairing along the root edges of the fin. Um, what that does is it smooths out the airflow and it also makes the fin stiffer. Now the back part of this fin doesn't have a tab in it, so it, it can be a little wiggly. Um, and the fin fillet will take care of that. Now the front part has the tab, so the tab went in like right about here, um, but the back part didn't, um, so all that's going to get filled. Now my one concern on this kit is that we're going to have a transition that slides in on the inside, so we want to make sure that the, the glue that we put in doesn't ooze out onto the inside of the tube. Um, so we're going to check that um, probably about halfway while it's cured just to make sure. Um, there's not a lot we can do once it's inside um, sanding in here because the motor mount is so big in comparison to the diameter of the rocket. There's not a lot of room to get in there. We might be able to get in there with a thin file, uh, but that's going to be a lot of effort, so I want to avoid it. Um, as you can see, I've put down masking tape along the root edge, and it's it's approximately one-eighth of an inch away from the edge and that's the area where I want to put the um, the epoxy fairing in there and I want to do the same thing on the fin side and I forgot to do that so I'll just do that real quick you can see essentially I just want to have a little gap right there where the epoxy is going to go in and the tape just prevents the epoxy from going to the spots where I don't want it to go. It makes cleanup a lot easier. Okay, all my tape is on. Um, next, I've mixed up some epoxy. And let's see if I can get it out a little easier with a st stir stick. I just want to lay in a fillet right along that edge. And I'm going to spread this out so it doesn't take a lot. Okay. All right. Um, so I got some rubbing alcohol to help clean things up a little bit, and I got plenty of paper towels here. Um, and then I'm just going to use my finger, and you can dip it in a little alcohol. That just keeps it a little bit lubricated, so it will slide easier. I'm just going to slide that epoxy into that fillet. And, you know, be careful on that front edge. Make sure you go all the way around it. So the epoxy is on. Um, now I'm going to peel off the tape while it's still wet.
So I can see right here at this corner, it's a little bit dry, so I'm going to try to smooth some epoxy into there. Looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to go back on my the front edges and just push that epoxy down because it got a little bit too much on the tips. Okay, I'm just looking at it. Um, the only thing I might want to do is just clean up the front corners. So I'm just going to take some alcohol. Kind of just round those off a little bit. Just a little less sanding to do later. With this uh, rock epoxy, because it flows just a little bit, these edges are going to look pretty good without having to do a lot of sanding. I'll probably just have to do a little touch-up sanding. Okay, so now I'll just let this set horizontally while it cures. Um, while that's going on, we can probably start working on the front cover that goes here. We gotta cut some of the coupler to make some little edges. So. Until the next time, uh, my name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light and the skies be blue. And may all your rockets fly straight and true.